Hello, what's up people? My name is Emmanuel and in today's video I will be talking about um, Netflix data set that I obtained from Kagu. Alright, so this data set is, you know, it, it, uh, it trended last year. You know, a lot of data analysts, they were working on it. You hear people say they were working on Netflix data set. So I decided to jump on the trend all thanks to my mentor in person of Mr. Joseph Okun. You know, he actually gave us the data set to work on it as a personal project in order to give us an insight into what data analysts will be working on. So in this video, I'll be working us through the Netflix data set um, that I created. This is my own version, all right? So I created this, you know, work around interface. This is Excel, all right? So if you, if you doubt whether this is Excel, is it? So this is Excel, these are the homes, the inserts, okay? So, and um, the first requirement was top five countries by viewership. Okay, so when I click on it, you will see the countries, United States, Indian. There was an unknown country. It was not specified in data sets. United Kingdom, Japan. And this is the chart. You can see from the chart, United Kingdom add, you know, this amount and followed by all these. So, these are the top five countries by viewership. I use pivot tables to, you know, generate these. And I use a pivot chart. To generate this as well so and uh, let me go back to the main menu this is the main menu and then we have top 10 directors on netflix these are the top 10 directors on netflix are their name rajik v chikalak j chris all these ones they are the top 10 directors this is the pivot table and this is the pivot chart so here will take us back to the main menu say the most popular director on netflix with the most title is you can see that's the number one at the top so let me go back again the next thing is top 10 viewed genres okay what do we mean by genre that's gen that's categories of movies you know there are some movies that is rated pg that is parental guidance is advised so that's what we are trying to say all right and there's a movie that is rated general that is anybody can watch it it's for family it's a family movie it's a movie that is labeled as romance you know and like that like that so these are the top 10 movies on netflix it says no the, the top 10 genres of movies are sh um, shown above were selected on the basis of their rating that is how they were rated by people that are watching them all right so this is the chart that we use to create that all right so and um it says the top 10 the tvma happens to be the most viewed netflix content with three three thousand and uh, three thousand two hundred and seven ratings okay all right so let me go back to the main menu so the next thing is um numbers of movies and tv shows so the number of movies and tv shows we have categories of film content tv shows and movies so this is the most content type of of, of uh, the most content type on netflix is movie meaning that movies we are you know commonly watched more on netflix okay yeah and the next requirement is movies and tv shows per year they want to know the movies and tv shows that performed more in a particular year and this is the database this is the, this is the content this is the years okay so if i want to know the movies that performed in 2015 i'll just click on this place and i'll see that the total number of movies is 300 3, 398 and total number of tv shows is 162 so it means it means that it means that um, movies we are more watched that is uh, we, the 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 um, audience they watch more of movies in 2015 so if i Click on this drop down. I go to 2016. The same thing. All right. If I go to um, let's say 2020, you can see the same thing. Movies were watched more. If I go to 2021, all right. So in 2021, we discovered that TV shows were watched more. That is 315. So that's the dynamicness of this project. So with this drop down, we can know the film content that were consumed more by the audience each yeah all right so that's that about that let me go back to the menu so this is the menu this interface right here is the menu top five directors these are the top five directors on netflix you can see their name this is their name this is david whatever this is this person you can see their name top 10 directors on top five directors actors on netflix and the most popular actor on netflix based on the number of titles is david atemboro yeah, with 19 movies titles. That is, how do you know top top 10 actor? That is actor that are feature most in the movies 
produced by Netflix. So this person, based on this data set, this is the person that was rated more as the pop as popular. All right. So let's go back to the menu. This is the chart. This is the pivot chart. This is the pivot table. Let's go back to the main menu. All right. Let's check the raw data. This is the data set. All right. So this is the data set. This data set, you know, um, this data set um, was dirty. So, but then I used what we call Power Query, all right? I use the Power Query to clean the data. All you just need to do is to go to Data, and then you will see New Query. So, I, I, I brought the data from file from a workbook. So, I clean the data using Power Query. Because data cleaning is very essential in analysis. Because the when, it, when, 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 you, when you use a... A, an unclean data you get an unreliable result so data cleaning ensures the reliability the validity and the accuracy of your analysis so it's a skill every data analyst should have and um, i also have that skill ability to clean data using the power query all right so this is the clean data you know this is the clean data all right these are the clean data so let me go back to the menu and now the dashboard the next fleet dashboard which we are all interested in so if i click on the next fleet dashboard this is the dashboard this is the top 10 movie generators this is the top five countries by viewership this is the top five actors on netflix based on the number of movies they feature on this is the category of film content is it movies or is it tv shows okay all right so um but based on the, um, the overall we saw that movie add more that is, now was the audience watch more movies on Netflix. Okay, these are the top ten directors, and um, you know these are the movies that they have produced so far that they have directed so far. On top of our list is Rajiv Chilaka. So you can see it right now. So if I want to know that for only movies, and um, this is what we call uh, a slicer. Yeah, this is what we call a slicer. So I just used one slicer for this project. This is what we call a slicer. So if I want to know the details of that for movies alone, so I'll click on movies. You can see the data set updates. You can see that the categories of movies, there's only movies that is here. And yeah, this top five actors on Netflix was based on movies alone. And top five countries were, were also based on movies alone. So but if I click on TV shows, you can see the dashboard update automatically. So that is what we can bring to the table using a dashboard all right so i'm just going to cancel this you know and leave it at movies and tv shows so this is the dashboard you can see it's looking beautiful all right so and um, let's go back to the menu so guys that is all on this video you know i told you in this channel i'm going to be sharing my portfolio project in order to show you that um when it comes to data analysis at least to some extent we can you know use excel to do a lot of uh, analysis as well you know we also have power bi yes we have power bi we have sql that structure query language yeah we have excel we have Mi we have microsoft uh, we have microsoft excel we have power bi we have sql we have tabli we have python so as time goes on we are going to, we are going to be sharing some of some of our projects on this uh on this platform so thank you guys for watching this video thank you for sticking around if you are new to this channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button you're seeing right now under this video so that when I share more of my portfolio project, you are going to be notified. Thank you and God bless you. I will see you in my next video. Peace out.